Today I'm going to show you how to do the gram formula mass problems for the homework that we're going to be doing. Uh, and it's pretty simple. So on a separate sheet of paper, what you're going to do is you're just going to calculate the GFMs for these problems. So for the first one, K MN 04. What you have to understand is that there's 1 K, 1 MN, and 4 oxygen. So if we take the numbers off your periodic table, so you are going to need your periodic table out. Uh, if we take the numbers off your periodic table and we add them up uh, and round them to a whole number, K is 39, MN is 55, and 4 oxygens is 60-something, I think. 64. Then we add all those together and we end up with... One fifty eight grams per mole is the unit for GFM. If you don't know what a mole is, we're going to learn that um, in our very next lesson. So there's your answer. So then you're going to take your answer and go one fifty eight grams per mole. This work, just like I'm doing it here, is going to be attached to your worksheet uh, and then. Uh, to the back of it and then you're going to show me all the work if you need more than one page you need more than one page let's do one more problem because uh, i do want to go down and do some of these so this is a very common one uh, cuso4 these are what we call hydrates um so at the very bottom it says uh, cuso4.5h2o right so what we're going to do is we're going to add it up so this would be number 21 it's cuso 45 H2O. So what this means is that you had five water molecules get trapped or stuck to a CuSO4 molecule. This is not multiply in math. This actually means that they're just complex together. So it, we think of them as being stuck together. So it's like one giant molecule. So you've got five waters and then you've got a CuSO4 and they're all just stuck together. So in chemistry, what we do with this is we essentially it just means add the two together, okay? Because they're all stuck together like one big giant molecule. So the way you do it is simple. H2O weighs 18. So if you know that already, um, that's great. But if not, you can do the math and you figure there's one O, that's 16, and two H's, that's one, uh, that are one each. So 16 and two, so it weighs 18. So five waters then is going to weigh 90 once you just multiply that together. Then you do your CuSO4, which is one Cu, 1s, and 4o. 4o we know is 64, 1s is 32, and 1 copper rounded is 64. Add that all together, and the Cu SO4 is going to weigh, let's see, 160. So now if we take the 160 and the 90 from the water and add them together, we get 250 grams per mole. And so that's the way you're going to do it. Uh, the reason I broke these out separate is in a couple days uh, or in a couple topics from now, we're going to be doing stuff called percent composition. And we are going to want to know what percent of this compound is water and what percent is copper sulfate. That's what this the USO4 is called. Uh, and so it helps to break them down separately because you will eventually at some point need to know that the CUSO4 weighs 160 and that the water weighs 90. So by separating them out like this, you will save yourself a little bit of time down the road. But that's how you do all of the hydrates. So that's going to be 21, 22, 23, and 24 are all going to be done like that. And they're all different hydrates. Uh, and that's how you do this sheet.